Yes guys, welcome back to another vintage wholesale unboxing video. Today, the most expensive bale I've ever unboxed. This was a thousand pounds. It was down to 850 pounds, so it's eight pound 50 a piece. 100 sweatshirts. Can you guys guess what's in there? Now I have bought this product before, but not the actual bale version. I just bought 30, which came in a box. And I think at the time they were at 11 pound per piece with VAT and delivery and stuff. And I did get a lot of English football teams in there. I think I got seven English football teams when they're supposed to be American college and sports teams. For those that are new to the channel, my name is Finn. I make vintage wholesale unboxing videos. I'm a verified dop, dop top seller on Depop. If you could subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. It's really gonna help my channel grow. Click the subscribe button. I can't remember what side it's on. It's, I mean, you'll be able to see it. It's the big red button somewhere down below. I'll put an arrow point into it. Press it, subscribe, please help me. Oh my God, guys, look at that. That looks insane. I can see so much embroidery print i can see so many colors i'm super excited to get it open what are you what the heck guys i can't stress how excited i am like I i'm more excited for this than i have been for any other unboxing and even any hand pick i've ever done we're gonna go with this one because i can see it straight away it is a champion harvard one fully embroidered it's super nice that's 25 pounds 100 we've just pulled out another champion one fully embroidered it's a size medium simmons college navy navy blue has grown on me i used to hate blue i hate basic blue can we find one like this blue i hate that color but navy blue and sky blue really nice we have this reebok one it's terrible it's like something i'd find in a bale it's really thin it's a terrible design it's a terrible color and i think it might be vintage i've never seen my reebok tag but it's not a nice sweatshirt it's, it's just not nice next up we have this kids one gap kids it's not nice it's something i'd find in a bale the description did not say that i'd get kids sizes like i wouldn't mind if it's like a youth xl because that'll fit a men's small but that's like let me check. But it's a kid's medium. Okay, next up, we've got a really nice print. Wait till you see the back print on this. So it's Anaheim Angels, baseball, uh, 2002 champions. So it's from a long time ago. And on the back, massive, massive print. It's really nice. Like, I love that detailed print. Okay, well, we're not supposed to get hoodies in here, but I'm not complaining because I'm going to get 40 for this. It's a Nike fully embroidered center swoosh hoodie. It's Alaska State, I'm pretty sure. Basketball. As you can see in the middle of that basketball, it says Alaska. So I'm guessing that's short for Alaska. Next up, we have this plain white embroidered Las Vegas one. It's Lee. It's something I would find in a bale. It's not a college or a sports one, but I mean, it is nice and I'm going to make profit on it. So we will put that in the, we'll put it in the bad pile for now, but it is good. I, it's bad. So like I said a few minutes ago, I don't know why we're getting hoodies in here, but if they are good, then I don't mind. It is a thermal one, so it's not going to sell as well, but it's Indianapolis Colts. So it's a great embroidered hoodie next up we've got this nice printed nike washington huskies football sweatshirt i think this might be early 2000s but i'm not sure on the tag it is printed on so i'm not 100 gray champion notre dame college sweatshirt it's a size small it is really small but it's in really good condition and it's a really nice basic sweatshirt i do hope we don't get a ton of lee because like i do like lee but i mean they tend to not be amazing i thought the print was meant to be like that at first just then san antonio I think that's in Texas. I would like to take back what I just said about Lee. We just got a nice Lee. Buffalo Bills. Next up, we have this champion sports one, Hermitage Wrestling. Now, it, the print is really cracked. It's not the best. I'm, good, I'm not going to lie. It's really not that good at all. But Okay, I'm not too bothered with this next piece. It's a Christmas one. I've got a similar Wisconsin one somewhere. North Carolina State, Wolfpack. Really cute Christmas design. It's coming up to Christmas, so I'm sure it's going to sell well. We've got this extra large champion Howard University sweatshirt absolutely huge these are so big quite a lot of these are so big i do get the vibe that we are going to get more college ones and pro sports ones as you can already tell we've not had many sports teams we've had the colts i think we've had a few others but we've not had a ton we've got this huge adidas college sports thermal quarter zip it's a 2xl fits more like a 3xl okay next up a really nice nike sweatshirt crazy design it's jacksonville jaguars from an nfl it's cool center nike swoosh next up we have this lee sweatshirt it's something i'd find in a bale it, it just says casino somewhere in america i mean it is it's nice but it's not what i'm looking for i want college and sports ones that's why i bought this bale whenever i say anything bad about lee the next one i get is a good lee one this one's sick. It's fully embroidered Green Bay Packers. Might be one for eBay just because of how big it is. It says it's an XL. It's a 10 XL. What are you doing, America? Come on, just hop on a treadmill. And we have just pulled out another really nice Lee one. This time, Baltimore Ravens. It's very nice. Now, we are getting, starting to get NFL teams, so I hope we don't get the ones which have recently been banned from Depop for being racist. Washington Redskins. Cleveland Indians. Chicago Blackhawks. New York Yankees. They are all being banned for being offensive or racist. And New York Yankees, what the hell? Next up, we've got this champion one, High Point University. I really like the embroidery. Super nice, size small. 
in small like a medium, it's going to sell well. Okay, we've got another hoodie, and all the hoodies in this mix seem to be banging, even though we're not supposed to get them. So now extent is swoosh. I'm not too keen on the grey this time, it is a darker grey. Mine's football, navy blue print. I just like the centre swoosh, they always sell well. So just because of this colour, it's probably going to get about 30 to 35, but if it was a lighter grey, it would get 40. We have just pulled out another hoodie. It's Nike. It's a different style. It's a baseball one. I don't know what team that is, but it does say Major League Baseball on the tag. This next piece, I forgot about the brand starter. For some reason, it went out my head. It's super nice. Boston Bruins. Don't think I've ever had a Bruins piece, and it's like my favourite sports team in America. Love ice hockey. Super nice. Big print. It's slightly cracked, but nothing major. Next up, we have this waterproof raincoat. Beautiful sweatshirt here, isn't it? Just what I ordered. But it is nice. Kansas City Chiefs. I do like Phil Colourway of Kansas City Chiefs, so if we can get a few more pieces in here, I see some red pieces, hopefully they're sweatshirts, I'll be quite happy. Next up, a really interesting old vintage sweatshirt. It's from 1994. It's Lee. Rose Bowl. Badges. Super nice. Pieces like these I just love, especially when it's got the year on. Right, so we have another hoodie. It's a champion one. It's like an off navy blue colour. I do like the print. The only problem is, we're getting hoodies. The problem is, I can buy hoodies for £6 a piece from this same wholesaler. So... When they're in a bale which is £10 a piece and supposed to be sweatshirts, it's a bit annoying because yeah, I'm losing out on basically £4 a piece and we've had about five hoodies so far, so that's 20 quid. We've kind of lost out on if that makes sense. It is a nice hoodie and I still will make profit on it regardless, but it is a bit annoying, isn't it? Next up, we've got this really nice early 2000s Washington Huskies, fully embroidered quarter zip sweatshirt. I do love purple. The only problem is, look at the size again, it's a 3XL. Next up, we've got another hoodie. It's Nike. All these hoodies seem to be Nike apart from that champion one we just got. Boston Celtics, I never get Boston Celtics, like, I think I've had one piece before and it was terrible, but this is a super nice hoodie. Alright, so this next champion one is super nice, like, it's huge once again, which is a shame. Utah Utes, University of Utah, super nice, like, I love it. We've got this Lee one, it's really cracked, it's not nice. Hunter jumper, um, we've got this green, <laughs> we've got this Green Bay Packers sweatshirt. Now, the embroidery is kind of distressed, don't know if it's meant to be like that or if it's actually really bobbled, but I'll move that up close, hopefully you guys can see. Nonetheless, it's still a beautiful piece. Well, this is definitely not what we want. ISC Arsenal. It's not actually like the Premier League team Arsenal. It's just a, it's probably going to be an American high school team, I think. We've got another hoodie. It's Nike, World Series champions. I'm guessing that's going to be baseball. I just don't know what team it is. I'm really not good with my baseball teams, you know. Something I need to work on. I just need to get a book and like read through them. Yes, this is definitely a college pro sports team sweatshirt. We've got this vintage Lee one, Ludras. That sounds French. We've just pulled this out. We're not allowed to sell it on Depop because it's racist and against the terms of conditions. And if you sell this, you are racist. Sorry to the millions of football fans who support this team. I can't sell it to you because if, if you wear this and own it, you're just racist, aren't you? Next up, another champion hoodie, USF, University of St. Francis. I ordered sweatshirts because of something I'm doing within the next few weeks and I really wanted sweatshirts. Obviously, I know we're getting tons of sweatshirts, but I didn't want hoodies. And I would rather have a hoodie than this sweatshirt. Now, it's a nice print. Minnesota Timberwolves NBA team. It's Adidas. It's super thin and it's tiny. It feels like a pyjama top. It's just not nice. It's going in a bad pile. Next up, we've got this Nike quarter zip. It's a college sports team, football team, McClure North. Now, you would think it's 90s because of like the design, you know, like with the white stripes, but it's actually on a modern tag. It's a 2XL, so... It's going to be difficult to sell once again. We've got this really nice vintage champion one, University of Texas Longhorns. We've got another hoodie. It's a thermal one as well, Harvard Hockey. <sighs> okay, well, this is definitely not an American sports team or college one, but it's really nice. It's Kappa. Now, I did get a similar one to this. It was a Brazilian Kappa one, St. Moritz in Switzerland. That's nice, fully embroidered. We've just pulled out another Green Bay Packers one and this one, it's on a Lee tag once again, it's huge. Why are all the good ones so big? This is a 2XL once again. Next up, another Lee one, we've had so many Lee, I think we've had Lee more than any other brand in this unboxing so far. Wisconsin embroidered, double collared sweatshirt is something I'd find in a bale. It's got marks on. It's an XL, I think it might have shrunk a little bit because it does look smaller. There are a few yellow marks on the front, it's fully embroidered though. We have another hoodie. I don't really want it, but it's nice. It's a good yellow colour. Mount St. Mary's University. And on the back, it's got Mountaineers printed at the bottom. Right, so this next one, no idea what it is, but I'll have to do some research on it. It's Lee. Massive, massive print. It's slightly cracked. Colorado Avalanche. All right, similar to that Minnesota Timberwolves one we got before, which was really thin. This one is super thin once again. Cleveland Cavaliers. Well, I said before I wanted more Kansas City Chiefs pieces, and we've gone and got one. Massive print. It's super nice. It's really big once again, it's like a 3XL, which is annoying. NFL tag, 
fanatics which also do like nfl pieces next up we've got this nike one utah royals football club next up we've got this puma one a team i don't get regularly i've had one piece in the past um mariners 2000 as well which is the year i was born so i might have to keep it it will fit me as well next up i said i'm not keen on dark gray but this is a really nice piece it's champion just a basic spell out washington state next up embroidered nfl patriots one there are iron marks like just under the patriots embroidery i don't know if you can see it's a free xl it's huge. Next up, we've got this really thin Adidas t-shirt. It's a 3XL. Next up, another really nice Lee one, fully embroidered. It is Wisconsin Badges, Madison, Wisconsin, which is a place in Wisconsin. It's a nice piece. I'll move that up close for you to see once again. Hopkins. Hopkins do great pieces. I think this might fit much bigger than a medium though. Like, that's really long on me and I wear like a medium to large. All right, straight after that one, we get another nice one in a medium, Stanford University. Next up, we've just got this small logo champion quarter zip, Wheaton College, Purdue University. It's a t-shirt as well. We have this NFL, New England Patriots playoffs from 2003. Okay, um, this one's a bit weird. So why is there an arm missing? This has to be owned by someone without an arm because it's like designed. Like I'm putting, there's, there's no sleeve in there, I promise. Like there is no sleeve in there. It's just like, kind of sewn up is a gap. The ones on this champion tag are always bad. Like it's always bad print. It's always poorly made. It's always a bad fit. All right, we've just got a team we haven't got yet this unboxing. Looks like it's gonna be Baltimore Ravens, but it's not, it's uh, Minnesota Vikings. It is Lee, the tag is ripped out, but I can tell by the top of the tag and it's got Lee embroidered on the sleeve there. The only problem is if you look at the embroidery, it's got stains all over. I don't know if you can see the green stains. We've just pulled out pretty much an exact similar style sweatshirt. Indiana Ho Hoosiers, Hoosiers, Hoosiers. Next up, we have this vintage Lee one. It's like something I'd find in a bale. Walk in the word, Chicago. We've just pulled out another Lee one. We've had so many, like 50% of this unboxing has been Lee. Colts, Indianapolis Colts, and it's nice to be fair. We've got this champion company one. It's not a college or a sports team. We've got this champion one. It's really long and thin. The print's extremely cracked. There's yellow marks all over. We have this champion, small logo embroidered Notre Dame College one. There are yellow marks all over. I hope the camera's picking that up. Okay, it's our first Under Armour one of the mix. It's not nice, it's a thermal one. We've got this really nice dark green champion one. It's a large Clarkson alumni. There is paint marks um, on the sleeve, which is irremovable and annoying and not really grade A. We've got this champion embroidered Washington State University one. The yellow marks all under the zip, which is annoying. So I'm so obsessed with the color brown at the moment and this will fit me. It's a medium. I'm probably gonna sell it though. It's super nice. Brown University is good. Look at that embroidery, so nice. I'm gonna try not to keep that, but I am really tempted. Okay, we are starting to get good sizes now, which is good. Endicott College. We've got this champion one. K physical therapy. There are marks all over the back and they are not coming out because they're like big oil marks. We've got this Mason Patriots one. It's not an ideal color. Next up, we have this starter jersey. Now, I don't know if that's a specific team or just like a custom design because there is no sponsor or team. It's just got the start logo and 07. Next up, we've got this night quarter zip. It's decent, it's an extra large. It's not a college or pro sports one. It says PepsiCo food service. Next up, we have this nice Puma vintage Minnesota Vikings one. Love that embroidery. Nike quarter zip. It's actually nice. H track and field, fully embroidered. Next up, we have this NFL quarter zip. It's huge. It's really long. It's not even wide. It's just super long. It's Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We've got this nice light gray LA Lakers NBA one. It's on an NBA tag. We have this champion one, Cougars, Columbia College. It's a quarter zip. Like I said, quarter zips don't sell too well for me, but we will make a bit of profit on them. Print is slightly cracked, but nothing major at all. We've got this thermal embroidered Adidas one. At least we haven't had any more hoodies since I started complaining. College of St. Benedict quarter zip is huge once again. I'd rather have hoodies than big sizes like this. Next up, we've got this Nike NFL Cleveland Browns one. It's like a windbreaker. It's, can you hear that? It's super thin. It's, it's decent. I mean, it's, it's okay. We have this thermal Nike quarter zip 2XL. It's huge. Next up, we have this really nice Las Vegas Raiders NFL sweatshirt. It's big once again. There are a few black marks on, like tiny black marks, which will not wash out. They just won't wash out from experience. We've got this Lee sweatshirt. It's just something I'd find in a bale for 40p. We have this Lee one. It's, it's in Russian, but then at the bottom it says Norwich University. Arizona State University, big embroidery. It's, it's a nice piece. We're coming towards the end of the unboxing. We've got like five pieces left. And here's the Dallas Cowboys one that I saw at the start of the bale. Next up, another huge one, Villanova basketball. Next up, we have this Reebok Chargers football one, fully embroidered. Notre Dame University. We've got two pieces left, a black one and a gray one. I'm just gonna pick the black one. And it's, it's a thermal one, basically, Boston Bruins. It's nice. What tag is it on? It's on an NHL tag. It's quite nice. It's a good size to be fair. It's like a medium. We are into our final one of the unboxing and it's quite nice. It's a 3XL, as you can tell. 
Nike, light grey. And that is it guys, we are done with the unboxing. Now I'll let you guys decide if that was worth it or not. £850, it's normally £1,150 I believe. For 2XL to 3XL, literally the majority of them, I'm not even exaggerating, you guys saw it. Which is annoying. We are done with the unboxing. Thank you guys so much for watching, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next unboxing video.